So guys, I bought something. Electric Zero motorcycle. Let's take a quick look at it here. So this thing is a 2014 Zero DS. DS for dual sport. It's also uh, 11.4, which is the battery size. I'm not sure exactly if it's 11.4 kilowatts or watt hours, what it is, but 11.4. And I've put about three, 400 kilometers on it right now. And it's a very interesting bike. It's very quiet. It's very um, smooth, except for the knobby tires in the back is how I got it. I'm not sure why I didn't match the front with the back. Um, but I'm not sure about the history of this motorcycle. Um, I knew, I know it's, it was used by the city or municipality. Uh, it has strobe lights on it. You can turn these on. Strobes installed when I got it. It's got some in the front too. Must have been like some parking enforcement or something like that. Uh, I've seen these motorcycles in Costa Rica use a security motorcycle. Like every security company has these um, just going around their parking. Uh, it's very interesting. It has this green button. I think it was for a siren. Uh, but it looks like the siren was removed from the place I bought it from. They told me, uh, yeah, they had to remove it. But I do see a plug here. I'm not sure if that's for the siren, but I might look into it. Yeah, this is all upgraded. Looks like it's doing its job. Um, over here is interesting. It looks like some type of PA system was here. And then this is for the strobe lights indicators to let you know if it's on or off. And it's got a kill switch for the lights, which is interesting. Now, this is how the cluster looks here. This tells you the range it's got. This tells you the battery temperature. And this is like a gauge that tells you the amount of power is going in or the amount of torque is being used. And when it regens, it just drops the other way. It has three modes, sport mode, eco, and custom. And custom, you can use the Bluetooth here. It connects to your phone and, uh, and actually you can, you can change the parameters on that. Now, this motorcycle has 28,000 kilometers on it, which is, I think quite a bit, but I checked the, on the app and it uh, it only has 84 charge cycles, which probably means the battery's been replaced because every time you charge this thing, it's like a 200 kilometers range. That's what they say, say in the, in the manufacturer's specs is 200 kilometers in the city and about, I believe 140 on the highway. But I think it's much less than that on the highway. It was too much wind resistance. And here's a kill switch. What else is this thing? Oh, it's got upgraded bars here. I'm not sure the brand, but uh, it looks very cool. Um, I'll probably post a video right now here. You can see when I washed it and how I got it and taking it for a ride. So enjoy. If you guys got any questions, just comment. And if you liked the video, that would be appreciated. I'll make more of these videos. If you like these kind of things, electric things, quirky things. Yeah, I'll post more. Front tires cleared up. What do you think, Abe? Dude, this thing is fucking cool, man. Oh, glad it comes out.
smell like grime coming off of it. Yeah. What are they? 130? What's in the back? 130. Water fully on? Fully on? Low pressure. I don't know why. saw the footage what do you think of it <laughs> it's impressive man it's got so much torque like in the mid-range right where you want it to have power yeah uh, at different speeds too right yeah the power is fully available yeah, at like sick. 80 kilometers an hour i feel like once you punch it it's all there but under that it's kind of uh it's kind of limited you know they limit it i think there's some cool mods we can do to it Bring it to life. Yeah. There's a big motor. This must be the heat sink for the controller. And just like a How does the regen work on it? It's another controller. The regen is happened more in eco mode. Yeah. In sport mode, it's uh, reduced. I remember on the application we put on the custom spec, like max regen. Yeah. And when it was on custom, the like it was regen was so strong. When you yeah. Off the throttle would. It really dialed yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, I set it up like that. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good because it like mimics the clutch. Like if you're downshifting, yeah. yeah, and you really need to slow down and like just try to use the engine to slow down. It's the best way to work to work around. Yeah. Like, that's the only difference between the motorcycles. Like if it's raining or something, and you really need to slow down quick. You want to bang, 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 downshift, and use the engine to slow you down. Yeah, exactly. And the, the region feels like the slowdown, right? On exactly, the engine. Yeah, yeah, and I, the the only thing is when I go on the highway, when I went on the highway, I put it on uh I put it on sport so it doesn't have the region. Yeah. And because it the because whenever you're letting off, you kinda want it to glide, right? So yeah, your hand course. gets a little rest. Your yeah, hand yeah, that's true. Your too. hand gets tired, yeah. So so that's, that's why I put it sport. That's that motorcycle thing, but that's the quirks yeah. of a, like electric bike. But it's so cool. When you stop at a light, right? Yeah. People are always asking questions about it. Oh yeah, a lot of people are asking questions about it. And from, the, the lights are so cool. From the front, it looks like a, a BMW, like a GS, like maybe 650. Yeah. So it's very difficult to tell what it is. It's interesting, very interesting. Very interesting. All right guys, hope you liked the video. If you want us to make another one, hit the like. But yeah, we probably will make another one. Hopefully off-road next time. Yeah, off-road and some mods. Dope. See ya. All right.